My name is Naomi Kelly, and I'm the city administrator for the city and county of San Francisco. I started with the city and county in 1996. I was working for uh, the newly elected mayor, Mayor Willie Brown. Not only was his chief of staff a woman, uh, Eleanor Johns, he had many senior level policy advisors who were women who were advising him every day, who were very supportive, nurturing, sponsored us, mentored us, and just were very excited about us being the future. My name is Jacqueline Flynn and I'm the Executive Director of the A. Philip Randolph Institute San Francisco. Our goal is to make it so that there are true pathways to sustaining a family here in San Francisco and we feel as though our union jobs are very strong ways to do that. I have a huge passion to work with my community members and I've, I think I've found my calling. I started in 1996 working for Mayor Willie Brown. I worked in his Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Services and was a community liaison to the Western Edition. I left three years and went to law school at the University of San Francisco. Instead of going to a law firm, Mayor Brown asked me to come back and asked me to be the Executive Director of the San Francisco Taxi Cab Commission. Once Mayor Newsom came into office, he knew that I very much cared about equity in the contracting process and asked me to be the city purchaser. I had the opportunity to work with then DPW Director Edwin Lee. And then when he became mayor, I became a deputy city administrator and then eventually the city administrator. Having trouble just struggling to make ends meet and put food on the table, folks are not going to understand what the importance of voting is. And so we decided to develop out workforce development services. After a couple of years offering pathways to sustainable jobs, we've gotten to a place where I can then have those folks come back and have that conversation of civic participation and it actually makes sense. We do public services, but we also really just build strong communities. When I started this job, my sons were two and five, and now they're nine and six. I understand the needs to be able to take a call from the principal of the school. I think that brings a whole new appreciation to being understanding of that work-life balance. And because I promote that, I have a very good team around me. We're leaders in the country when it comes to paid sick leave, paid parental leave, formula retail workers ordinance. Before there was the Affordable Care Act that was passed by President Obama, we were the leaders in trying to get to universal health care, which all is supportive of working women, not only just in our work environment, but within the city. In my industry, I feel like it's very male dominated and it's been a huge struggle just to get myself in the door. Um, and I feel as though that definitely needs to change. There needs to be more opportunities for young women to make it in whatever they dream of doing. I definitely feel it's important for us to create a network of support so that young people, women especially, can achieve their goals and further their dreams. And I'm just mostly interested in making sure they have those tools and whatever they need to make that achievement. Education is important. I realized that from my time at San Mateo High, I made sure that I got into a great university. I went to New York University. I then came back and went to the University of San Francisco Law School. And the fact that I passed the bar would open up many more doors because life will always throw us a curveball or there will be an obstacle in your way and we can't get down that, oh, why is this in my way? We have to kind of figure out a solution on how do we move forward. You cannot let adversity let you throw in the towel. You need to keep moving forward.